afternoon. She was killed by a suspected drunk driver just weeks after graduating from Del Norte High School. Now her family is working to make sure the teen's mother will get a chance to say goodbye after being deported to Mexico. News 13's Francesca Washington has the story. Something's missing. She's missing here. She had a, a laugh that you can we can still hear now. At 18 years old, Roxana Sines had big plans for life after high school. She just had a whole life of, full of head of her. She wanted to become a veterinarian. She was working at an animal clinic. But those plans were cut short a week ago when she was hit and killed by a suspected drunk driver on Candelaria near Gerard on her way home. The, how can she be gone there like that? Like from one day from another when she was sitting right here in my living room? as the signs family mourns. It just was taken too soon. Some of their relatives are in Mexico working to get Roxana's mother, who was deported two years ago back in New Mexico to say goodbye. Then she needs to be here. She needs to see her daughter. Her last time her daughter, they saw each other was back in December for Christmas. <clears throat> her daughter was uh, went that way to, to Juarez and that's where they spent the last time together. Albuquerque police tested the blood of the other driver in the crash, but did not make an arrest. The family hopes that changes soon. This person did something wrong and we want justice. And they want this tragedy to remind others their actions can change a family forever. They have to think before they start driving because like people like Roxana, it wasn't even her fault and because of other because of other people not thinking or just thinking of themselves, this is what happened. Francesca Washington, KRQE News 13. Now, police say they are waiting on the toxicology results on the driver of the pickup before deciding on charges. They will also execute a search warrant on the truck, which is still in police custody.